There is a show down in SC. They call it Wave TV. And they spread news on what's going on to inform us everywhere. Hey, Somerville. Due to COVID, Dorchester District 2 students will continue e-learning virtual instructions from January 19th through January 29th. This decision was made to help protect the health and safety of students and staff. Free food services will continue to be provided for students at school sites and school bus delivery locations. The district will also continue to review all school and community information with other officials of the board. Also, be on the lookout for the EOC schedule that the district will give out soon. Classes like English 2, U.S. History, Algebra 1, and Biology will have to end up taking the EOC exams at the end of the semester. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Will Bagley. Hello, Somerville! In these trying times, it's very easy to let anxiety get to us. We have things like COVID, finals, family, and friends. 2020 hit us hard, but we aren't going to let it happen again. Marley Bassett and I have some helpful tips to help you deal with your anxiety. Number one. Breathe. Try the 478 breathing technique. Inhale for 4 seconds. Hold for 7. Exhale for 8. Number 2. Do something that brings you comfort. Read your favorite book or dance to your favorite song and de-stress. Number 3. Try journaling. Writing down can help you organize your thoughts and express how you feel. Number 4. Try getting up a little earlier and sleeping earlier as well. Lack of sleep and poor time management can stress you out and make you feel less prepared. Number five, set goals for yourself. Anxiety can cause a lack of motivation. Every day, give yourself five things to do. It can be as simple as folding your clothes, texting a loved one, or calling an old friend. In extreme situations, you may have an anxiety attack. One technique that helps is grounding. Relax your body, take a few deep breaths, and focus on five things you can see, four things you can feel, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Above all, remember that people are there for you. You may feel like you're a burden to others by telling them your problems, but everyone needs somebody to listen to them. It helps. Sometimes it's better than advice. And remember that us as Wave TV, we think you are beautiful, amazing, talented, and so strong. You did one of the strongest things anybody can do. Get up in the morning. Reporting for Wave TV, this is Dylan Rosario. And I'm Marley Bassett. Signing off. Hey Somerville, with everything that's going on right now, you may not have noticed some of the problems in the Arctic. It all started around 2007 when we saw the largest ice loss in human history. Shortly after, some nations started noticing the problem and trying to help. There are animals in the Arctic that depend on the unique environment to live, so let's make a difference. According to Jonathan Markowitz, a professor at the University of Southern California, the Arctic has been suffering from oil drilling, rising temperatures, and vanishing ice. Let's stop drilling. Once oil is out of the ground, it's way more likely to spill, and past incidents have shown that it's impossible to clean up oil spill. Major companies like Exxon and Shell are pushing an oil rush in the Arctic Ocean. Some companies have already started. We need to spread the word to stop now. The Arctic can't take any more of this. If you'd like to donate to the cause, visit one of these links shown here. We're pointing for Wade TV. I'm Jacqueline Holt. Gotham Knights, Hogwarts Legacy, and Hitman 3. What do all these games have in common? That's right, they're video games. But more importantly, they all come out this year. We've come up with an extensive list of new games to be looking out for this year. Here's Wave TV's 2021 Game Report. Celebrating their 20th year, the Hitman series is coming out with their 8th installment, Hitman 3. Like the other games, it will be a stealthy action game filled in third person. They are sadly removing the multiplayer features that the other games had. But don't like third person? Hitman 3 is coming to VR. Immerse yourself in the world of assassination. God of War Ragnarok is the 9th installment in the God of War series and the sequel to 2018's God of War. This is going to follow the events in Norse mythology, where it will play out a series of events leading to the end of the gods and the world. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is a new platforming third-person shooter continuing the duo's story, featuring a ton of new features. There's a new tool in the game that is able to use rifts that are in your path 
and a new female character whose name is still unknown. This game will be one of the newest games to be using the PlayStation 5's new features like dual sense haptic feedback and ray tracing. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is a Five Nights at Freddy's game set in the 1980s style mall with a whole new cast of characters and some old repainted characters. It looks as if there will be a new play style as well. Look out for this one coming early this year. LEGO Skywalker Sokka has been the LEGO game the community has been waiting for. There will be almost 500 characters, new features, and levels that can be played however you wish. There will be plenty of galactic battles in space featuring new combat mechanics for all classes. Whether it's new angles for blaster users or an overhaul of force combat, returning users will be impressed with this continuation. These are our top games to follow this year. Look out for these titles soon because who knows, we may be stuck at home again. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Patrick Bailey. Hello everybody and welcome to Probably a Bad Idea. I'm your host, Chef Isaac, and joining me today is my co-host, Chef Brianna. Hello Isaac and hello to the audience at home. So Brianna, tell me, do you like to cook? Not really. I also love cooking, and that's exactly what we are doing today. That's right, Isaac. Today we'll be blindly grabbing five ingredients from our pantries to make a delicious recipe for the viewers to try for themselves. That's right. You are legally required to make this recipe for you and your family, or else I will find you, hunt you down, and creep into your room at night. Let's get on with the show. We've got some sort of bag. Second ingredient. Whoever designed this blindfold did not get, do a good job. Item number four. I don't know what this is. Back to the kitchen. So what you'll need, bread, applesauce, any chips, brownies, and then a thing of corn. Mushroom soup, milk, chocolate, taco seasoning mix, graham crackers, and lasagna. First, I'm going to make the corn because it's takes the longest to make. Bowl. That sounded amazing. You know how Chef Gusteau said anyone can cook? I think he was lying. And, I mean, he's dead anyway, so what does he know? When in doubt, just mix it in with everything else. Mom, am I gonna die? Now I have my meal. It is done. Would you take a look at that? That is some delicious stuff right there. I can barely taste the applesauce. Mm, there it is. First uh, bite. <clears throat> Initial uh, thoughts are rejection, and I think that that's a job well done. Well, there you have it, folks. Two new delicious recipes that you literally have to try for yourselves. Until next time, Cooking for Wave TV, I'm Brianna Goppert. And regretfully, I am Isaac Cinnamon.